I'm the last of my generation. My siblings have gone and my in-laws have gone and that sort of gets to you now and again. 90% of your friends, if they were the same age as you, if you live to be 90, 90% of your friends are dead. Only 10% of people have made it that far. You've gotten used to a lot of loss. Now, are your family checking in on you as well on a regular basis? I got one niece, she calls me practically every night. Good. My sister calls me every weekend. It's only her and I left, so she, she was worried. I imagine she, she was. She said, oh my God, don't leave me alone. It's clear now that social isolation is a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. I think you have to fight the impulse just to stay home and give up and, and not bother going anywhere. I call them the Eleanor Rigby's. We see them all the time. So the lost people who just have no visitors. Their brains are impoverished as a consequence. And anything that's bad for your brain increases the risk of dementia. She was in here first, and I wanted to be, rather than going home to an, an, an empty apartment. He didn't want to be away from his wife. He wanted to be with his wife. So he was found on the highway trying to get to her. The police picked me up a couple of times and brought me back home again. I didn't even realize it was happening. My research is about social vulnerability, and what I do is look at how individual social factors add up to affect somebody's health. What I'm finding is that the more social problems somebody has actually affects their health and their mortality. And that's a really important finding because if we can improve the social environment, hopefully we'd improve people's quality of life and their longevity. You came to see Dr. Rockwood and I, and you said to us, that you couldn't be away from her. You said, when I'm in bed and I put my hand behind me, I know that lump in the bed is her, and she's not there anymore, and I want to be with her. That bump in the bed, that's you. He was coming here in snowstorms just to be with you. What I've found is that for every individual social problem that somebody has, pretty much no matter what it is, their mortality is increased by five or 10%. But if you add that up, the effect can be pretty big. And now far away we go. He's still doing things for her. He's still picking out shoes for her. He's still trying to take care of her. I'm going to get her a new nightie and get her a new blanket for her bed. Here's the cuddle up to in the night. Okay. Keep warm. <laughs> I'm very lucky because I think she's the reason why I'm here.